Approaching the second anniversary of the James Webb Space Telescope's launch, its initial 20 months of scientific operations have profoundly altered our understanding of the universe. However, the telescope is posing significant challenges for scientists as it reveals inconsistencies in our cosmological theories. The exact timeline of when the initial star clusters coalesced into the early formations of the galaxies observed today remains uncertain. While cosmologists had previously estimated this process to gradually unfold within the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang, the James Webb Telescope's findings are prompting a re-evaluation of these assumptions. Currently accepted theories suggest that these early proto-galaxies reached adolescence one to two billion years into the universe's life, forming into dwarf galaxies that began devouring each other to grow into ones like our own, the Milky Way. The cosmic Dark Ages, we believed, was a time when the universe was enveloped by a fog of neutral hydrogen that trapped the light of the first stars and galaxies. According to the standard model, the fog didn't lift until one billion years after the Big Bang, when the neutral hydrogen had been rayonized and once again split apart. And with the end of the Dark Ages, the first stars began to come together to form galaxies, thereby slowly changing the universe to what it is today. That is what our models stated, almost all of them. Then, we launched the James Webb Space Telescope and suddenly, we found ourselves in a conflict that threatens to change our very understanding of the cosmos. The discovery of thousands of unusually bright early galaxies by Webb, some even resembling our own, came as a bewildering surprise for astronomers. It was a discovery that put their most basic understanding of how the universe evolved into severe doubt. If these galaxies were like ours, to glow so bright, they would need to have swollen to enormous sizes in a fraction of the usual time. Typically, a galaxy is bright because it's big. But because these galaxies formed at cosmic dawn, not enough time has passed since the Big Bang. How could these massive galaxies assemble so quickly? And how are they so bright that they theoretically shouldn't exist? Scientists have come up with a phrase for these galaxies, too big and too soon. The brightnesses of their magnitude should only come from massive galaxies with as many stars as the Milky Way. Yet, these early galaxies somehow took shape in a fraction of the time that ours did. This predicament led scientists into a perplexing situation, prompting a re-examination of fundamental cosmological principles. Recognizing the need for a comprehensive investigation, a team of researchers turned to a supercomputer acknowledging the limitations of human understanding in this complex scenario. In their quest to decipher the peculiar radiance of these galaxies, the researchers constructed a model of galaxy formation and subjected it to supercomputer simulations. These simulations replicated the dynamic interplay of gas in the early universe, coalescing and transforming into stars, which in turn gave rise to galaxies. Through meticulous consideration of the young universe's mass, energy, momentum, and chemical composition, the researchers unveiled a possible explanation. They proposed that stars in this early epoch could have undergone sudden, intense bursts of formation following extended periods of quiescence. Termed bursty star formation, this process differs markedly from the steady rate of star birth seen in the present-day universe. The researchers contend that this distinctive mechanism might elucidate the extraordinary brightness of the early universe. Consequently, the team inferred that the radiant galaxies identified by the James Webb Space Telescope in the universe's nascent stages may be the outcome of these bursts of massive star formation, potentially contributing to their higher luminosity compared to expectations for that era. In other words, the universe went through a sudden let-there-be-light moment. 
When Webb began science operations in the summer of 2022, its deep observations of the universe quickly began turning up high redshift galaxies. In fact, the galaxies, which were seen as they were when the universe was less than 400 million years old, appeared more luminous than what the standard model of cosmology predicts for the era. This led to claims that the standard model, which depicts galaxies starring off small and then growing hierarchically through mergers driven by filaments and halos of dark matter in the cosmic web, must be wrong. By drawing results from the simulation, scientists now believe that a galactic system doesn't need to be that massive. If star formation happens and bursts, it will emit flashes of light. That is why we see several very bright galaxies. Most importantly, the results from the new simulations fit with the hierarchical growth model of galaxies as depicted in the standard model of cosmology. But the problem with the standard model doesn't end here. There are several ways the James Webb Telescope is pointing towards major flaws in a models. Number one, extremely early galaxies. Keep in mind that we are talking in terms of cosmic time scale. So when you have a galaxy forming only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, it's like it happened instantaneously. So the Big Bang happened approximately 13.8 billion years ago. And according to the model, for the first 1 billion years, galaxies did not form. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has shattered that belief. We have found galaxies at the edge of the universe, fully formed and massive. The oldest galaxy we have found using the telescope so far is Macy's Galaxy, which existed when the 13.8 billion year old universe was just around 390 million years old which is incredibly young for our cosmic expanse. Not to mention that Macy's galaxy is one of the many candidates that Webb has spotted, and more research and observation can reveal galaxies that existed even earlier than that. Number two, scientists just discovered two massive objects collided very early in the universe. That's right, just when cosmologists thought they had a workable theory for when and how galaxy collisions happen in the early universe, the James Webb Telescope challenges them again. In this case, the challenger is a collision of two massive galaxy clusters that combine to form a gigantic galaxy cluster. They happened when the universe was half its age, and according to our cosmic model, that's too early. The result of the collision is the El Gordo Galaxy Cluster, and its existence challenges the Big Bang like never before, because according to it, galaxies form first in the universe, then later on they begin to combine to create larger galaxies and clusters of galaxies. That takes time, so having them show up so early as El Gordo did in cosmic history is a big problem. One question that will need to be answered is whether or not this massive early collision points towards the need for a new model or changes to the existing one. Number three, giant black holes near the birth of the universe. When the James Webb Space Telescope stared at young galaxies, which appear as mere red specks in the darkness, it saw a surprising number with cyclones churning in their centers. Yes, an abundant population of sources scientists didn't know about or didn't anticipate finding at all. The most straightforward explanation for the tornado-hearted galaxies is that large black holes weighing millions of suns are whipping the gas clouds into a frenzy. These are the ancestors of supermassive black holes that seem to appear in the cosmic record inexplicably early. By studying these record-setting youngsters discovered this year by Webb, Scientists hope to learn where the first humongous black holes came from and perhaps identify if they grow extremely rapidly or were they simply born big. Yet the observations are also perplexing because astronomers expected Webb to find many smaller but hungry black holes, but instead they uncovered a throng of bulky black holes that may rewrite our established theories of stars and galaxy formation. Number four heavy elements missing. 
Not only did the Webb telescope find extremely massive early galaxies, it also discovered that those galaxies defy rules. A team of astronomers used the JWST to gaze over 12 billion years back in time and observe galaxies as well as the rules they followed through cosmic history. The most surprising discovery was that ancient galaxies produced far fewer heavy elements than we would have predicted, based on what we know from galaxies that formed later. This disparity hadn't been spotted before because instruments used prior to Webb hadn't been powerful enough to see the chemical makeup of galaxies as far back as around 11 billion years ago. The James Webb Telescope, however, allowed this team to look back to just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, which showed a break in the relationship between star formation, mass, and chemistry. Now, the James Webb Telescope is expected to run for a decade or two, and who knows what intricate details it is going to find out about the origin of the universe that is going to help answer a lot of the questions that we currently don't have the answers to. What do you have to say? Please share your valuable comments and don't forget to subscribe to Cosmos Prodigy.